From the studio, known for beloved franchises with unique dialogue. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light. Comes another entry in a beloved franchise with unique dialogue. Can you believe it? We got self-driving cars. But who are we kidding? It's not like it has a real story. So is that? Wait, this one does have a story? And it's basically just Pokemon? Street Fighter 6. Welcome to the bustling world of Metro City, which has been transformed into a brightly colored dystopian hellhole, where society revolves around a singular violent hobby, and anyone who doesn't like it has been Thanos snapped out of existence, which apparently includes every character from Final Fight, except bargain bin Jason Momoa, even though that's where we got Metro City in the first place. Hey, at least we get to look at this giant statue of Mike Hager. Wait, has he changed position since Street Fighter 4? Ah, please don't let this be a weeping angel situation. I'm not ready. I barely figured out how to use Drive Impact. Build your own fighter with the most flexible character creator since Spore. Then bring your lumbering monstrosity to the streets to take down the local gangs and also the elderly and the nice man who serves you pizza and the cops and bad cosplayers and literal superheroes and the meanest household appliances since the brave little toaster it's my function and the cops again just for good measure because in mike haggers america these hands are rated e for everyone all to find out what happened to that guy you knew for all of five seconds during the tutorial where'd you go dude you were supposed to be my sasuke Travel the world and encounter new characters and old and exciting foreign locales shrunk down so they're small enough to fit inside a studio apartment. Then learn their sick moves, cobbling together whatever fighting style works best for the button combos you keep accidentally hitting. Because let's face it, if you're good enough to know how to purposefully land whatever the heck this is, you're probably sticking to ranked mode. When you're tired of beating up NPCs, focus your energy on PvP as Street Fighter VI introduces the contentious modern control scheme that will give first-time players a new way to get into the franchise as supers and specials are ridiculously simplified, making even the most butterfingered newbie seem like they actually know what they're doing, even if they've been spamming DPs the whole time. Looking at you, Ken players, then take that newfound confidence and bring it to the battleground and immediately get that confidence kicked out of you. Because it turns out, against people that actually know what they're doing, you're going to get your face smashed in harder than Marissa's opponent after a critical art. Until you finally evolve into a high-level player and discover the actual thing you should be complaining about. Throw loops. Or more likely, don't. Because it's much more fun to bitch about the new stuff in the game than actually learn how to use it, as is community tradition. Like, why do you- why are you making that So flex those biceps and get ready to learn the true meaning of strength in a fighting game that finally lets you be as bad as you want to be. Cause single player mode is basically just Duolingo Fight Club, letting you practice against increasingly challenging robots until you're finally ready to do the fighting game equivalent of talking to a real person. What's wrong? Yeah, that's pretty much how my conversations go. Starring Luke Toriel, Kamito, Snoo Snoo, Shrek, He's Just Ken, Stretch Armstrong, Chun Leave Me to Get Crushed by Those Thighs, Sam Eagle, The Dude from Wreck It Ralph, Karate Kid, Splatoon, Business Zaddy, This French Clown, Bob Brawley, The More Sumo. Wait, you can bring sticks to these fights? Feet Fighter. This guy is definitely not drinking alcohol. Please don't give us an M rating. What's in the Bosch? What's in the Bosch? And this horrifying Popeye golem, one of our writers made. A fight mare on Beat Street. You know, the single player mode really is exactly like Pokemon. You fight anyone who looks at you funny. You battle gym leaders. You've got your own Gary and Team Rocket. All that's missing is a bunch of people getting really pissy if you didn't play the originals. Actually, eh, never mind. Comment below on what you want to hear in my epic voice and check out these other epic gaming videos on GameSpot. What do you get if you cross a gnome and a tauren? A mini-tar. Stay a while and loot things. 
The spirit is willing, but the flesh spongy and bruised. You smell like yogurt. So, we meet again, Buzz Lightyear, for the last time.